Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple cherry vape. All you need is food grade glycerin and the Watkins cher or, uh, cherry extract. Look for the clear kind. The colored ones have too much sugar in them and you really don't want sugar. Now fill it up about three or one fourth of the way if you want a strong cherry. This is mainly PG. It smells really good too. Um, then you're going to need your glycerin. And this is the glycerin from Walmart. It's 99.5% glycerin. Don't know what the other 0.5% is. Then you just pour it in. Uh, that's about all you have to do. Um, the taste on this is... I don't know. It's good. It's one of those I do when I have no other juices and I need juice. Then you just stick your little drip top back on, which can be a pain sometimes. And then, if you're like me, you make a mess. So clean your bottom up and shake. Um, another thing you could do, but I don't know, not everyone has the ability to do it, stick it in an eye ultrasonic cleaner. That gets it going a little bit faster. Um, I made a few like this. This is my root beer vape. Love it. I usually end up making that when I have no other juice to vape. Um, this one just needs a good shake. Um, it turns into more of a PG based juice just because the flavoring carried a lot more on that. But it's still good. Um, I haven't experienced too much leaking with it. I'm going to show you a real quick vape. We're going to do a smell test. Smells like cherry. Fire test. It fires. And it smells like cherry. So we're going to load it up. And fire it. Um, the one thing that I have noticed doing this, doing this this way is you can get a little bit of spit back sometimes. Just depends on how much you stick in there of that. I like my flavors super strong. It tastes like a candied cherry. vape is pretty good. It's not a thick cloud, but it's it's decent. It's very flavorful. I bet that'd be really good in a tank because it's so liquidy.